I'd like to talk about two books today. The first is The Art of Walt Disney World by Jeff Purdy and Bruce Gordon uh, with a foreword by Roy Disney, E. Disney. And the second one, very similar, is The Art of Disneyland by Jeff Curdy and Bruce Gordon. Introduction by Martin A. Sklar. Now, these books are great books. I definitely, they're among my favorite Disney books of all. What I really love about them, I would show you more of the pictures of the inside, but, you know, for copyright reasons, I don't know if I, you know, I'm allowed to or should, uh, but they have just page after page of great concept art, some of which is stuff you've seen, but there's definitely a lot of concept art, which you probably have never seen before. Um, even concept art for a lot of attractions that you may have never even heard about. So that's what I really love about these two books. Now, I, I do have my preference, even though Disneyland is my home park, I actually prefer the Disney World book. And the reason for that is with Disneyland, it kind of follows a pretty simple formula of land by land info. And unfortunately, because Disneyland, you know, that, that includes Main Street. And there's, they're about the same, I'm not sure exactly page for page, but they're pretty similar in size. So that's like an extra, you know, 20 pages or 15, however many pages it is. I guess it's not that many pages. Well, I'm not sure is this, whatever. It's, it's a lot of extra pages just focused on, you know, probably at least 10% of the book is focused on Main Street. And honestly, nobody goes home saying, oh, or goes to Disney and saying, oh, I can't wait to ride the omnibus. I mean, I, I could be wrong. Someone might say that or on your way out of the park, it might be nice to not have to walk all the way through Main Street, but most people don't really care that much. Um, so I think more people are going to be interested in Adventureland or Tomorrowland or Fantasyland or any of their favorite lands or any of their favorite rides. I don't think people care that much about Main Street. With The Art of Disney World, you have these kind of themes. They're kind of grouped in themes like uh, World of Adventure, World of Fantasy, and so you know, and you have more parks, so there's a lot more attractions and things, I think, that, that didn't, you see probably a lot more uh, unique stuff that maybe you never knew about, that, you know, like, there's uh, a part about England was going to have um, the Christmas Carol, it was going to be in the United Kingdom Pavilion, uh, so that's something that, you know, you may have never heard about unless you got my book, um, Disney Unbuilt. I do talk about that there, but most places have never heard about that uh, experience they're going to have. So this has a lot uh, more things you probably never heard of, I think. The uh, And again, you're not wasting a lot of time on pretty much page after page. is all good stuff, whereas, like I said, Art of Disneyland, it felt like maybe 10% of it's fluff that I, I just don't care about that much. And the only problem with this is this one... It, it, they both sold for $50 originally, but are around $50. Uh, this is, yeah, $49.95. And I remember seeing this at the park, and I was toying with getting it at the time. I was younger. This came out a while ago. I don't even know the year on this. But, um, you know, it was just kind of pricey for me to afford a $50, or I really didn't know which one to even buy. You know, so two $50 books would have been $100. Uh, oh, 2005. So over a decade ago, and I didn't get them. Fortunately, I was able to get both of these on eBay for about the same price that they originally were for sale. But that was a deal, because right now, the cheapest I've been able to find the Art of Disneyland is about 100 bucks. Uh, that's Amazon and eBay both have it. I may include a uh, Amazon affiliate link below, um, possibly later, so if you do want to get it. Uh, it'll be the same price. I'll get a little bit of money from the affiliate link, but um, I think that is the one good thing is this is much more ex uh, inexpensive. Compa I mean, it's still an expensive book, but it's much more affordable for people, whereas the Walt Disney World book now is really expensive. I think the cheapest one I saw on eBay or Amazon when I was looking, I believe, was like $500. So... And I think maybe that was on eBay, and I think Amazon, the cheapest, was about 1000 So a lot of people, you know, this is a lot of money for a book. I, you know, I know there are other Disney books that go for something like, you know, in that price range, but a lot of people can't afford it. And 
that's why I, I, you know, I mean, it definitely, it's my favorite. I don't know if that would be, you know, I don't know if I'd spend five hundred dollars for this book, or definitely not a thousand. Unless I had a lot of money, which I don't have enough money that that would be worth it for me now. So I'm really glad I got it when I did. But, you know, if if I were to now have to get a copy, I would be willing to spend a hundred on the Disneyland book. So that's my review of the book. I definitely, if you love concept art, it's these are great options. They're kind of like the Imagineering books, but, um, you know, a hardback and little rarer and nicer and harder to get. So if you're interested in this, uh, if you liked what I had to say, comment, like below, and subscribe, and I'll have more videos coming soon, hopefully, about uh, Disney books. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks. Goodbye.